Vincent Mezzo here. We'll be looking at the features and advantages of some of the main players in suspension trainer manufacturing. Let's take a look. We'll also take a look at some low-tech, high-effect options to help you get the benefits that you're looking for from your exercise routine. There are a number of features we'll examine when we look at these suspension trainers. The first one has to do with the number of anchor points and how exactly the suspension trainer is anchored. The second has to do with adjusting the height of the suspension trainer. The third has to do with the actual grips and the way the exerciser engages with the suspension trainer. Then we'll look at some of the USPs or the unique selling propositions of the different suspension trainers as they try to differentiate themselves in the market. The first suspension trainer that I got came from Elite FTS, and it's called the Power Strap. The Power Strap engages very easily over squat racks, Smith machines, and other gym apparatus. It's got a simple nylon piece with two rings that you slip over a bar, and then a nice hook that you can simply click on. RX are singular, that is there's one anchor point for the whole device, whereas the power straps operate independently of each other. With the TRX, we wrap the strap around whatever we're attaching it to and then put the carboner through one of the spaces provided. This allows us to adjust the height from the beginning. The Jungle Gym XT has a very simple approach to attaching. We simply slide the whole apparatus through the loop that's already sewn into the strap. And like the power straps, the Jungle Gym has two separate anchor points. We can move them closer together or we can move them further apart. When the first Iron Man movie came out, my wife told me about something she saw on the internet about how Robert Downey Jr. had trained for Iron Man and the first Sherlock Holmes and how there was this thing that his trainer was using called the War Machine. Of course, being a comic fan from way back when I was a kid, the idea that Iron Man trained with the War Machine really intrigued me. So I looked it up and found the War Machine. The War Machine and its rebranding, the CrossCore 180, both use a single nylon strap that's threaded around and through a locking mechanism which you can press to pull down and up and of course they give you some velcro to tie up the extra bit of the straps. Michaels has also put her footprint on the suspension training market with the RIP60. The RIP60 has a single attachment point and it uses the sewn nylon loop system where you thread the whole apparatus through, similarly to how the Jungle Gym XT is attached. Personally, I find this loop through system to be one of the easiest for the attachment points that I've used in my training we have the Pure Motion. And the Pure Motion also uses the slip-through nylon loop to attach the apparatus. This can be most useful when attaching to a Smith machine or other large piece of gym equipment. They also, though, provide a nice large carboner should you need to attach it with that. So, Pure Motion gives you the option of two different ways to attach their device. However, there is just one single anchor point as opposed to with the Jungle Gym XT, the <clears throat> power straps, which have two 
anchor points so you can move them closer together or further apart. We have the USA or the Universal Strength Apparatus from Bodyweight Culture. They have nylon straps with carboners and you can hook them right under each rung of the ladder. There are two ladder rungs in the Universal Strength Apparatus and you can adjust the height of them. USA also provides nylon straps where you can loop the strap through itself and then hook your carboners up to the second loop in the strap. The next main feature we'll look at with these suspension trainers is how you actually engage with them. Now, the power straps are straight up for push-ups. They're metal handles like you would find on a cable crossover or another cable machine. Very straightforward. You're only going to be able to use these with your hands. At least, that's what they're built for. The TRX and the Jungle Gym have a way for you to put your heels or hold them with your hands. So you can do both work with your legs suspended or work suspended from your hands and arms. The main difference here is that the TRX has a foam handle and a nylon heel strap, whereas the Jungle Gym has a formed plastic handle with a cup for your heel. This would be much easier to wash down and maybe easier to get your heels into. The War Machine and the Crosscore 180 use a very similar type of handle and heel strap as the TRX. We've got nylon through solid foam and they put a little piece of more leather or some kind of uh, plastic version of leather around here for your heel to sit in. When we get to the RIP 60, we start to see a change in that they're using a very big loop. They've put a piece of plastic around it, clearly for you to use with your hand when you grip it, but you could also slide it out of the way and now you can easily put your heel in it. Additionally, you could sneak your arms through it and now you can use it to do knee ups. The Pure Motion AirFit Trainer takes a totally different approach to how we engage in it in that they give us these large straps so we can engage up at the bicep, we can engage with the forearm, we can grab it and use it as a handle. The USA has a series of handles which allows us to climb up them, do work where our hands are uneven on them, and at the bottom they also provide a strap for your heels so you can do your standard leg work with them. Another thing you can do with the USA with their handles is that if you step on it and don't have it attached above, gluing it to the floor, you could then do deadlifts isometrically and hold at all these different joint angles. So it gives you a way of doing very specific different joint angles for that type of isometric exercise. Now we're going to talk about adjusting the height of your straps. The power straps have a very standard buckle type situation which can be difficult to adjust. May take a little bit of time and getting used to. When you have a situation where there are two straps, getting them equal with each other can also be challenging. The TRX 
has come up with a very elegant solution where you press the button and pull. And the nylon is attached to itself, so you don't have to bunch it up again like you do with the rings. You can make it shorter. They've given you a nice different colored piece to hold on to, so you can make it longer. You can make it longer, and they've given you a nice little yellow colored piece here to pull on so that it's easier to also make it shorter, and the nylon stays together so it's so nice and so it's still nice and neat when you're exercising with it. The different colored pieces also make it easy to keep it even. The Jungle Gym also has a way to keep the straps together so you don't have to roll them up and apply a piece of Velcro. They also have a nice little button here instead of metal like on the TRX. It's a formed plastic, again making it easy to adjust the straps shorter or longer. I'm a huge fan of the War Machine and the Cross Core. In order to adjust the length of the straps, though, it is a little difficult and there's a little bit of a learning curve unless you are a Boy Scout and you're comfortable with knots. You need to pinch a loop, reach through the loop and grab, and then rehook the carboner through that loop and cinch it tight in order to be able to adjust the length of the strap. Right? Although this is very doable, some people might find it a little daunting or time-consuming until they've had a lot of practice with it. The RIP-60 uses a very similar method to the Jungle Gym and the TRX. There's a little locking mechanism, so the nylon strap slides through, and then they've provided a way to constantly keep the excess pit of the strap out of the way. They've also given you a little loop to hold on to. Press, pull in order to make it longer, Press, grab the loop in order to shorten it back up. The AirFit takes a totally different approach. You can grab on in different positions to shorten it up. The main shortening is going to come from how you attach it above you. The universal strength apparatus comes with different handles. So instead of having to adjust it up and down, you simply grab onto a different handle. And again, having these different handles allows you to do offset work where your hands are at different heights. The unique selling proposition for the universal strength apparatus has to do with its multiple handles, so you don't have to adjust the height. Additional unique propositions with the universal strength apparatus include being able to do offset work at different heights, and of course, actually climbing the ladder. The AirFit from Pure Motion is called the AirFit because of this spring. This is the only suspension trainer we're looking at that has a spring to make the motion less jerky. We also see a pulley here, like with the cross core and with the war machine. However, it's not possible to stop the pulley from sliding with this particular AirFit machine. The AirFit also is unique in terms of the straps that it uses for you to engage with the apparatus. The RIP-60 
besides being sponsored by Jillian Michaels, also has a way to allow for rotational movements. They, instead of using a pulley, like the AirFit, simply use this smooth aluminum and slide the nylon over it. How long it's going to take for the nylon to wear out is hard to say. They also provide a pin so that you can stop the rotational movements. Of course, the whole purpose and probably the first company to use rotation was the War Machine, now the Cross Core. And they've created a pin so that you can stop the pulley rotating when you're exercising, leading to the slogan, pull the pin. The main differences between the TRX and the Jungle Gym have to do with the number of anchor points. TRX traditionally has one anchor point, whereas the Jungle Gym has two separate ones, allowing you to move it closer or further apart. 